Aha, so we continue with Das Boot, and I have a very bad throat right now. So probably shouldn't be doing this, but anyway, uh, yeah, needs to be done. So this was the completed hull where we got to last time. Uh, what I've done is I've added a slightly more detailed load point sketch. Uh, so these are just some points along the uh, hull where we're going to be loading up different bits of equipment. And uh, this will allow us a bit later to more accurately figure out the balance that we have sort of estimated already. Um, but yeah, we're going to need to do that in finer detail later. So we've got a hull, but we need some uh, pieces to go on it now. So I have, and I'm not going to bore you with actually taking you through all of these things, but I have created a model of that little engine that's going to be used, the OS Max 21 or whatever it is. So yeah, there it is there. It's, um, yeah, not 100% accurate, but it's accurate enough mostly in terms of the uh, mounting points. Uh, yeah, distance is yeah, yeah, it's good enough, put it that way. I've also created a very dodgy um, propeller to go on it. Now, there's two dodgy things about this. Actually, there's probably more than two, but <laughs> there's two obviously dodgy things about this. First, it's a four blade, and uh, we're not using a four blade, we're using a two blade. The reason why I've put four blades on it is it's going to make it easier for me later to see the extremities of the rotation of the propeller so I can make sure it's clear and everything. So uh, yeah, so I can see not only top to bottom clearance, but left to right clearance. So that's why it's got four blades on it. It also would produce probably a zero force. Uh, yeah, because the blades are, well, completely rubbish. But anyway, that's just aesthetic at this point. So that is the little engine that's created. I have also created a, where are we, a fuel tank which is the one I'm going to use and uh, yeah following exactly the same procedures as making the whole really all this stuff it's just planes sketches lines and uh, yeah just various features to join them all up I've added some of the correct materials like a semi-transparent plastic for this etc 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 and then I have brought those three things i.e the hull the engine and the fuel tank into an assembly and there we are, so that's partly where these lines come into play. Um, basically, if we look at it from the Z axis and actually view it, uh, basically, um, uh, yeah, I've used these to align the engine and the fuel tank. So the rear of the crank case of the engine is aligned with this particular point. Um, I'm struggling to remember what that point there is and that point there is, but anyway, it doesn't matter. That is the main interesting oh, actually that, that might be the center of the mounting but anyway doesn't matter i've then uh this was originally going to be the center line of the fuel tank but actually i have mounted a fuel tank relative to the engine now and i just dragged it back a bit further so i've got more room for the pipework coming out the front uh, obviously that's in the center of the boat and the bottom of the propeller is 20 mil uh, from the deck here which should be plenty and uh, will allow us to put a little sort of shroud and make it slightly ducted for increased efficiency. Uh, yeah, so that is, uh, we've got a floating engine and a floating tank. So obviously now what's needed is to build the actual mounts that this will go on. So rather than these being sort of suspended in a fixed space, we will now build the mounting points to hold the tank and the engine in place around that and we'll secure it to the top of the hull here. Uh, and then we'll remove the relationships that actually secure this into mid-air and uh, re, uh, yeah, build up the relationships and the mates, as they're called, with the actual mounting gear. So, uh, yeah, I have made a start on uh, this structure that's going to hold this in place. It's pretty complicated. If I took you through it uh, as I did it, it would end up being another paint drying series. So I'll save you the pain and uh, get back to you once that's sort of more or less done.